So this is a spherometer, and I'm just going to quickly tell you how it all works. So we have this hose tube, which we're going to stick this thing right in here, which we're going to blow into, the mouthpiece. That's what we're going to blow into. Okay, so inside this tub, there is a ton of water, and this kind of weight measure thingy, I don't know what it's called, but that's okay. Um, up here we have this chain, and on the chain is this moving piece. So when you blow in, this thing is going to raise, because the air is going to come into the tub and lift up, and so this is going to raise and move the chain, which then will cause this to move. And it's going to record how much air you've blown in, or out, rather, sorry. Um, okay, so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate. You blow, and then you record what your value is. And that's as simple as it is. And with this, we can calculate tidal volume, uh, expiratory reserve volume, and our vital capacity. So there you have it. There's the spirometer. Three point five. So, you know, modern reasons we can use this. We often have portable ones, and that helps doctors to diagnose asthma. So when they breathe into this, and if they find that they don't have enough air, then that often leads to the uh, diagnosis of people with asthma, or maybe bronchitis or emphysema. So these are very helpful tools. Uh, maybe not this big contraption of one here, but a small portable one, which are often in clinics.